Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Shangri-La and on today's video, I'm going to show you some simple hacks or simple tricks and techniques on how to achieve this look. So this look is something very easy, something very quick, but yet very glamorous. And I am also definitely going to show you some products which you already have it and might think that that is something very onto that level of uh, makeup. But no, it's totally upon the application technique. So please stay tuned. I'm going to show you the application technique on how to achieve this look, what tools and what products I have used in order to achieve this look. I already have a concealer in so it, it made me easier to understand where am I going to put my foundation it looks crazy I know so yes I love to use this kind of disposable sponges for the fact of this sponges helping to take the product so smoothly and you just feel like you have got nothing see did you see what I mean there you go so a little bit on if you can see my hand movement, I'm not touching my concealer area where I am just blending the area where I have put my foundation. Now, <laughs> look crazy. So I'm going to use the same brush that I have used for concealer. So I will take off. Now the tip here is to understand we don't go like this or we don't wiggle it. So what we do is we take the product and we follow the hairline which means we go down so we follow the hairline here there you go because this is most of our problem that our concealer under eye concealer tends to crease always oh wow this color is perfect for me and similarly you can just flip your brush and then put the concealer all over your eyelid too and I'll tell you next why I said to put it all over the eyelid you see the difference amazing yeah so the same way I am going to do the other eye in the same way the concealer all over the eyes now on the forehead as well and making sure we are touching the concealer and warm sweating all right so we blend the concealer so well that we tend to join the area where we have put on the foundation so you can go back to your sponge or yes let me show you something this brush is another sweetheart this one is yeah uh this is the Pro Featherweight brush number 90 from Sephora collection. Now I'll tell you why it is. Which helps you to take off the extra residue and make your skin look perfectly blended. There you go. This is a Tarte Cosmetic Shape Tape Setting Powder. Now, the word itself, Shape Tape. Like you shape it, you tape it. It really helps you to tape and conceal your imperfections let me do it i am using the number five this is actually a highlighter brush from sephora collection because of its dome shaped structure i love to use it for my under eye there i go do the ding ding <laughs> and take your brush and wiggle it all over now what is the best thing about this product is you just see how it perfectly perfectly blends under your eyes and i must say this is going to be fantastic for the person who always complains about my concealer always creases so that is one of the reason your concealer creases because maybe you guys don't use any setting powder setting powder is a must i love to put the setting powder on my eyelid as well when i'm using it helps me to give me that smooth finish okay and here be good so the next step is brow 
I believe brows is the only line that gives us the expression so that's what I mean the brows gives us the line of expressions that is all right for today I'm gonna use the Tarte cosmetic um, well they now have the new collections but I still have my old one so I love using this one this is on the shade medium cosmetics taking my eyebrow brush from Mac so I am taking this as this is our creamy mousse so you have to be very gentle on taking the product so I I love to take these kind of uh, palettes while doing my makeup because you can just place them <laughs> all right so take the product and start oops I love to start from here in this way okay even you make a mistake it's totally fine as we're gonna clean them later so by the time I start in the beginning of my brows my hands movement goes very softer Whatever the product I had taken, I used it on the corner side, wherein the leftover product I am using on the beginning of my areas. Yes! I'm so sorry, I'm filming. Daddy's calling you. Looks good. So, see what I meant. Brows make a big difference. So, here the point is. I'm good similarly on the next side so before you start you can even see or measure where you wanted to start with so those are a simple hacks again I went a bit stronger in the corner wherein after the product is finished I go very softer in the beginning well, I'm sweating. The more corner you go, you can make them a bit darker. Yeah. All right. So that's what I meant. Oh, well, I used this is MAC cosmetic brush. And I love the I love the fact of this brush is it's flat, first of all. And it's perfect for you to sharpen the edges and shape your brows and start with a very soft hand and end with the darker darker corner and that way it gives you the illusion of having a natural brows done even when you shape your brows do keep in mind that you do not elongate your brow and brow so much all right so that's one trick again so that's what I did it here 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 so I mapped my brows and I feel for my facial uh, feature this uh, this shape is perfect you can even go back to your concealer brush and feather them out to not have that brush line effect okay or you can go use your foundation puffy brush to settle all the things. I'm good. So my next step is eyes. But before I do the eyes, I would like to put the Ultra HD Lip Ultra HD Lip Booster from Make Up Forever. Now. As I was talking, I felt my lips cracked. I felt discomfort. So I, I want to put this lip booster. <coughs> Excuse me. This, this will help me to boost my lip. And if my lips are dry, it helped me to hydrate as well. So, yeah. So let's go with our next step. That is an eyeshadow. For today, 
all right so once again i have not done any powder i will leave my complexion for now i just wanted to see if this because this is my first time trying this foundation okay this is my first time using this foundation so i really wanted to see how the outcome of this foundation is so yes let's go with it so i'm going to use today this new palette from natasha denona it's a mini palette this is new for me by the way and for my base i shall use the venus this is one or two yeah this venus palette from lime crime and the urban decay ultimate basic palette most of you might love to buy a mono eyeshadow i love to buy mono eyeshadows uh, that help me to create my own collections of the shades that i wanted to have it on my kit uh, whereas the trend now is to have a palette and i'm obsessed with palette as well so i'm with both i love to do or i love to buy the mono eyeshadows at the same time i love to buy the palettes too as i said i already have a concealer in my eyelid i already have a little bit of setting powder onto it now the next thing i want to use which is again very very basic and eyes is more important is because most of us tend to crease a lot most of us have an oilier eyelid i wanted to first prime my eyelid with the matte colors all those matte beauties so using my urban decay ultimate naked palette basics these are the basic color oh well this is my problem these all foundations in yes this is the color uh, this is the shade nudie and i am putting this shade all over my eyelid as always the story i have locked myself in my daughter zizum is singing outside okay so did you see i tend to cover my eyelid oh yes so the purpose now is my canvas is so much ready that i can take my paint and my brushes and start painting so for today i'm going to use this extra bitter this is the shade this shade it's a shade extra bitter i'm using the brush number 224 from mac cosmetics straight away put on to my crease now if you guys are not aware of where your crease are i'll give you a very simple hack to identify where your crease is your crease is exactly i don't want to touch my fingers so i'm going with my brush which i use it for my uh, base eyeshadow so where your brows uh, brow bones are you feel the bro uh what bro 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 do you feel your bones here below your brow your brow bones where your bone ends for me is here this is where you create your crease this is where your crease are so the point of explanation is i take my brush and i feel my crease are right exactly below my brow bone so what i meant again is if you guys can see i am not going above the brow brow bone sorry and my movement of taking the eyeshadow is from circle going inward and throwing the shades out now so there you go always start with a less amount so when we, when we say glam we don't want to have that so much of shimmerness rather still looking a bit shimmer or let's say a glam look can be your red carpet look or your Grammys look which you can see the famous celebrities are always on point with that uh, dewy finish with a soft subtle eye look there we go so we're gonna go there today all right so as I have already done my crease a bit I am going to dig with my other palette and taking my 239 brush okay yes yeah 239 brush again and using this little baby on the shade infinity from Dior no wonder the eyeshadow that I'm gonna use today is already so pigmented and is already so famous of being so pigmented also I am going to create a little bit of cut 
from the color that I started and the color that I'm going to put now. So the point here is I started from the beginning. I started from the beginning here and not going at the end. So yes, where you have stopped putting your color that you put on your crease. So yes, a soft sultry look. Now I am going to use the Natasha Denona mini palette. It has got five colors on it. Let me see what color I might use this too. too. The, the fact of this palette is if you can see the colors are like the golden, the golden taupe, that uh, beautiful matte, that beautiful metallic uh, color, it, that sultry cool colors. Oh my God, like I've got so many words to describe this beautiful palette. So going forward with it, I'll be using this beautiful brown looking color on top of the color that i have put so as i said natasha denona's palette is already very famous for being so pigmented but habits all right make sure to take your eyeshadow also on your lash line and if you feel like taking like this will have a fall down or a fall off just take your brush in this direction and close your eyes and take it upward so in this way this is a perfect application if you are already done with your eyelashes and you don't want to have a fall off of an eyeshadow after you're done with your eyelashes and going forward with the next step i'm using this sephora number 16 round pro brush and taking this second color here and just where our crease ended not going up i just want that orangey fused to still be there on the crease but this darker color to just stick on the corner line and to little bit blend with the color which i already have it on my crease so the same goes on the other side As I said, I'm going to keep very softer. So I believe this is our going next. I'm going to use this beautiful black waterproof eye pencil from Clarence. It is so black pigmented. And my other favorite is the Nui Kajal from Sephora collection. I will definitely use on my other video and I'll tell you why it's my favorite. But for now, let's stick with this. I've got makeup everywhere. So, most of you do or most of you don't. I love to do this technique. I will look horrible, I know, but I love to do this technique, which is put the eye pencil on the waterline and close your eyes. This is the traditional way of putting kohal or kajal. Boom. I remember my mom used to always apply her kajal in this way so i'm following her footstep and today i'm not going to use any kind of liquid eyeliner because i'm going to keep the look very very softer so you can even take this color and put over your Now, you have to be very careful on putting the alcohol or eye pencil on your lash line is because you need to cover your lash line. You don't want to see that skin. For me, I love to put my kajal all over. And a little bit bringing it outside as well. I wanted to get that diffused eye look and taking the same color from Natasha the one which I used on the end corner of my eyes and I forgot to tell something Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette is also very very famous first of all yes it is cruelty free paraben free but at the same time this is so good for the people for the person who has got 
a sensitive eye like me I love makeup but I must say guys I am so damn sensitive like I have allergies on some of the colors okay so diffuse the color we don't want that sharpness we want the color to be very diffused there you go yeah and uh, for the same step if you wanted to have that wing eyeliner feeling you can take the brush which i showed you or you can even use your eyebrow brush and then dip a concealer and from here you can just shape them so in this way you can also get that cat eye look with the same way but for me i prefer to keep it very very soft and diffuse going step by step in the makeup is a key so right after i'm done with my half eyeshadow done i'm going to dig with my powder now and today i'm going to use the naked skin ultra definition powder from urban decay and the fact i love about this foundation is you're gonna get you guys gonna see why i'm using the mac cosmetics 150 brush this bigger baby and right away like just look at that it changed my whole look Now here, if you guys don't want it to have this mattifying look, you can still skip this powder. Now my next step I'm going is I'm taking the multi texture brush from Sephora collection onto number six. Going forward with my Sun Stalker, the Coconutty bronzing powder from Fenty Beauty. It has got all my fingerprints. Toot toot. And I don't know I have a habit of smelling all my bronzing powder please comment down below if you guys do the same and being very very conscious or being very very generous with the amount because this is where most of us we make a mistake we dig with the product so much that we tend to rub it or clean it later rather why not start with a minimal amount and just or just add it as per how much you need it like that's the key so far for me i love to like I'm, I'm okay to keep products little by little or using back and forth but creating that beautiful perfection in one shot rather than having one whole slap in the face and keep troubling to clean later so i'm gonna keep soft my bronzing so today i have covered myself this powder as my bronzer and as my contouring powder too and going back to my number two brush this is actually a concealer brush from sephora collection the shape of this brush is like it starts with the flat and it has got the tip so the beauty about this brush is if you just flip it and take the tip and start creating that illusion of contour on your nose area okay I'm an Asian I do have a small nose yes I agree but makeup helps me out to create that looking nose all right so far I am good okay that's enough did i do like this all right so the next thing i'm gonna use a brush from guerlain and this beautiful thing from smashbox it was the limited edition the vlada collection uh in the shade was yeah rosemantic the beauty of this blusher come highlighter is that blusher and highlighter so if you guys can see like smile and on the apple of your cheekbones as i said it is a highlighter and i'm using it as a blusher as well it has got a tint of rosy 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 texture the name itself describes well rosemantic so i can really feel my skin is having this rosemantic feeling it has got slight shimmer on it so this helps me to give me that 
glam looking shimmer a little bit here as well okay now if you guys have noticed i have today used very uh, subtle color i've used from smashbox and i'm as i am a olive skin person i'm gonna use a too faced love light highlighter you light me up or you light up my life that's the name not the song so this is beautiful goldenish it just blends so well with the gold with that pink rosemantic color of smashbox a little bit on my cupid bow so if you guys are wondering why i didn't do mascara yes that's my problem i don't do much mascara because i'm a person i love to do my lashes so let's get into the lashes well i'm back from the lashes and by the way i've used the velura lashes on the style take it and go all right let's start all right all right all right all right i believe i've been doing lots of all right all right here and there so okay so before i dig onto my lid i am using this shade so i am going to use this shade for my final eye look from sephora collection it's a mono eyeshadow beautiful texture beautiful payoff of color it's on the shade to the moon and back just amazing so for that i'm going to take again my small shade brush from mac cosmetics and need to be very very slightly putting on the inner corner of my eyes oh la la it's beautiful you know if you are a makeup lover you talk to your makeup like i did now oh la la so putting a light bright color on your inner corners it really helps you to open up your eye it really helps you to brighten your eye and if you have a problem of complaining that your eye is so smaller then this is definitely for you and a little bit of product and using on the brows area now the technique the use of it the reason I said very soft is because I don't want to highlight this area rather I want to highlight this area so sorry so I am so good with my eye makeup and my complexion I'm gonna take my number five brush again from Sephora collection dig on to my smoothing powder from heart cosmetics and going on the area where I have lot of lines yes a lot of lines because I'm talkative and that's what they say the more you have your facial expression the more lines you get in on that area boom so I am loving it remember this guy the lip booster from Makeup Forever it's perfect I feel so so good because today I didn't use any liquid eyeliner it's because liquid eyeliner tend to elongate your eyes giving you that sharp definition look which I really don't want you to create on today's look so I kept it with cut I'm a person with eyeliners if you guys are with me on my Instagram you can definitely know how much I am onto eyeliners and I shall definitely come one tutorial with the eyeliners this is the cream lip stain from Sephora collection on shade 82 a must-have shade if you are a makeup holic makeup addict makeup junkie makeup influencer makeup blogger whatever related to makeup this shade from Sephora collection number 82 number one number 13 number four these are must have lipstick on your kit so the beautiful thing about this lipstick this script lip stain is watch me take the product make sure you remove the excess that has come on your wand the side where the angle side the tip of the brush is where you're gonna feel it the illusion having your lip pencil and start drawing your lip so you see what I mean is right here
this is a matte let's not talk this is a matte finish and fill them this is matte finish lipstick but because i already have a lip booster so it tend to give me slight kind of satiny finish which is okay for today's look and fill that in uh, yeah now trick here is do a pout mm. fill it the reason why when you are done with a beautiful glam look makeup and you tend to take a selfie doing your pout mm, and imagine you don't have any product here looks worse so that's the trick another trick is smile and when you smile when you see your lines are not symmetry or symmetrical you can just correct it is again because imagine you have a glam beautiful makeup and when you smile you have all those you know untouched lines so we don't want to have that but before we finish up let me not forget what shall we use it all right let me use a two-faced hangover three-in-one setting spray it can help you to prime it can help you to set and it can help you to refresh boom boom or like what do you say boom, boom, boom. so i am so sorry as i can still feel that you guys must not have seen the product well uh, i'm definitely gonna link down below on the description box and yes the purpose of this video is for you guys to be able to create this beautiful simple looking glam look and why i said simple is because i didn't use a liquid eyeliner to elongate the eyes i didn't use a whole ton of mascaras underneath i didn't use kind of shape uh, you know the strong sculpted contour so i still did some part of contouring and uh, still with my lashes but not so much onto detail because that will take our look to very different size today's video purpose is to keep my look still simple easy for you to achieve yet glamorous so the whole point here is simple easy quick and glamorous so i definitely hope you guys have taken the bits and the bites from today's video please 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 i would i say this a lot but again thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed already onto my channel and i welcome to my new subscribers please please guys do support by clicking the subscribe button right down there right down there it's because this will really really help me to find out more different content and do let me know what kind of content you guys are interested on so i'll definitely put on my page i'll car park it and definitely gonna go with my next content again i am so much thankful to all of you for taking time and stopping to watch my video and i'm sure that you guys are doing great just let me know what content you wanted on my next video and i shall come with that signing out on today's video sending you lots of kisses and peace